the arrest involved members of a neo-Nazi group called Adam Waffen. Which has been on law enforcement's radar for several years. They vowed to accelerate the collapse of civilization using violence, mass murder, hate, and threat. The five individuals are all charged with making threats. Four were involved in a plot to send hate-filled posters like this one to the homes of journalists and activists, many of them Jewish. The fifth, John Cameron Denton, is alleged to have called in fake threats to a Virginia university, a historic black church, and even then, Department of Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen. Earlier this month, FBI Director Christopher Wray elevated racially motivated violent extremism to a national threat priority. Not only is the terror threat diverse, it's unrelenting. According to the Anti-Defamation League, domestic extremists were responsible for at least 42 deaths last year alone, and 90% of those were linked to right-wing extremists. The violence associated with these groups has surpassed the violence associated with uh, uh, groups that we uh, deem international terrorism groups here in the United States. The FBI has created a domestic hate crimes and terrorism fusion cell to investigate these cases, and that involves working undercover and tracking what suspects are doing online if there is evidence that they are planning violence. Jeff Begay, CBS News, Washington.